We're watching for you uh, tonight. Uh, we are hearing from a mother left with heartache and questions. This after her son drowns in a Knoxville hotel swimming pool. Knoxville police identifying the child now as Raymond Whitlock, the three year old dying from injuries after a reported drowning Sunday at the Quality Inn off Cedar Bluff. Tonight, as the investigation into Raymond's death continues, his mother wants to know why those responsible for watching her son failed this one task. Yeah. <laughs> he loved people. He didn't meet a stranger. Yeah. He didn't like for anybody to be sad around him. If they were sad, then he would do something goofy to make them laugh. This is how Aletha Whitlock is remembering her son Raymond, better known as Jupiter, to family and friends. He was only three. He'll never get to go to kindergarten. He won't ever get to have a girlfriend. He won't ever get to have kids. Drive a car. He got deprived of all of that because this one adult decided to leave the kids in the pool and tell them to stay in the two foot end. Whitlock speaking to us from her home in Chattanooga says it's hard to make sense of how someone in charge of her child and others could do this. I don't understand how an adult could leave five children in a pool and my son get in the deep end and pass away. I would have never thought that one of my kids would leave before me. Jupiter's drowning marks the third time a child has drowned at this West Knoxville hotel, but despite the hotel and the pool's history, Whitlock says it's others who must take the blame. In the pool, and if the nanny or babysitter or relative friend, whoever it was, if they paid attention, it says swim at your own risk. There's no lifeguards there. So I couldn't even get mad at the hotel room because it's not their fault. As for why she's choosing now to speak out? I wanted Jupiter to have a face. I wanted him to have a story so the world can see who Jupiter was because he's not just the baby who was neglected and drowned. He was a person. He was my child. And it breaks my heart knowing that the next time I see my son will be in a castle. Now, a spokesperson with Quality Inn releasing a statement saying, quote, we are saddened to hear of this incident and extend our condolences to the guest family. Going on to say, it is our understanding that the franchised hotel is cooperating with local authorities, end quote. Meanwhile, Knoxville Police spokesperson Daryl DeBus says police will present the findings of the investigation to the district attorney's office for review. They will determine what, if any, charges will be placed. And as for funeral services, the child's mother says that uh, they will be planned after he is released, though, from the medical examiner's office.